Hi, Brian here. Welcome back for another lesson in our onboarding series, Making Directus Your Own. What a great title we came up with for that one. Uh, so today we're going to cover white labeling. This is one of my favorite features inside Directus. I can still remember when I showed my business partner uh, the, one of the first projects that I built with Directus, and he thought I was some magical coding wizard that I had put together this platform almost overnight after we t were talking about it. So that is the power that Directus can hand you. Let's dive into it. Uh, I'm just going to pull up my starter instance. So white labeling, we are looking at the, the standard login page. Great looking login page, but... Let's make it your own. Let's white label it. I'm going to log in and we are going to go to our project settings. So we'll go to settings at the very top. We have our project settings and you'll see a couple of fields here. We've got our project name. So let's name this Bryant's awesome project and we'll give a short description. Uh, and I'll just call this short description so you can see what that looks like. We'll choose a color. We've got a logo option. We've got a foreground option. We've got a background option. We've got public note. What do all these things mean? So if you are a Figma fan, I've got a, uh, just an example file here. Um, you know, if you're looking for like the file sizes and where these things display. So I've got all that for you here. Uh, take a look at the Figma file if you like it. Um, hand it to your designer so they can whip something very pretty up. But we've got the project name over here on the left-hand side. We have the project description. The public foreground image shows in the middle of the background on the right. Um, and then the public note shows at the bottom. So this is what your login page will look like. Um, and then your project color will change all of your primary button colors. So for me, I really love this hot pink. Uh, my kids are a fan of it as well. So I'm just going to use it. We'll hop into our project settings. We've got that. My project logo. Let me actually do the hash there. Perfect. All right. So I've got a couple of logos already uploaded here. So I'm going to choose that. Got my public foreground. It is a little easier when it says public foreground image. But uh, let me choose from the library. Uh, public foreground. Perfect. We've got our background. I'll choose from one I've already uploaded. Again, you could upload these yourself. And then we have a nice, nice short public message. All right. So five, six fields. Boom. Now we are white labeled. Uh, let me refresh. Got some kind of issue there. So we've got our logo. If I log out, let's look at this pretty landing page. Boom. So there we have our public foreground. We've got our nice short public message. There's our background image. We've got our logo. We've got the title and the short description. Look good? All right, perfect. So now let's take this one step further. And I've got our custom CSS. Big shout out to one of our community members, Thymon. He has published this theme builder. I'm going to show it to you. Let's check this thing out. All right, so I'm going to open this up and I will paste in my hex code. DA187A. All right, so now with that done, what I'm going to do, just click on the clipboard. We're going to go back into our custom CSS and I'm going to save this and boom. Now you can see that all of my colors have updated to change. Uh, my buttons are nice and tidy and all of the uh, like accent characters have updated as well. So that is quick and easy on how to white label direct us. I'll catch you on the next lesson.